Facade inspections have always been a bit difficult. Especially in the case of a tall structural building, it can be hard to get up the scaffolding and perform the inspection in a safe and efficient manner. Hey everyone, I'm Baron, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and today I'm going to talk to you about facade inspections using commercial drones. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and if you're watching this on YouTube, click the alert notification. Facade inspections are difficult, but drones have changed the game. Not only can you reach hard to access areas in a fraction of the time, you can also record and capture high resolution images of the building facade. These images can be later used to analyze the facade's condition in a collaborative office environment. As with any inspection, it's important to have an end goal in mind. You might consider, is the inspection data going to be reviewed by a surveyor or a building manager? What would they be looking for? Is it cracks, defects or water leaks? Knowing what the end customer or stakeholder is looking for will help you design your unique way of performing the inspection with the best drone and the best possible captured data. Facade inspections, unlike other drone missions, represent a number of key challenges. Let's have a look at them one by one. If you're planning to inspect a building in a congested area, one of the first things to understand is if your drone would have good GPS signal during flight. Buildings can block GPS signals. Having good GPS signal strength would mean a more stable flight and would allow you to automate the data collection and allow you to collect data with higher levels of precision. If you believe GPS is going to be an issue, try to understand if you can take off in a different location or you fly, fly a drone to a high enough altitude first before you, can, before you start your mission to acquire good GPS strength. Should GPS positioning fail, you should be ready to take ATI mode control at any time during the flight. Another important thing to consider is the number of facades you plan to capture with your drone and therefore the flight path the drone would have to take. If you plan to fly a single facade of a tall building, it's more optimal to fly up and down the building to cover its longest side first. On the other hand, if you plan to capture multiple facades of a relatively short building, it's better to fly left to right first and then top to bottom. Being able to maintain line of sight is critical here as you might have to split your flight plan into multiple flights, one for each facade. It's important to understand your, the height of the building, the geometry of the building and the number of facades to be inspected beforehand. As you perform your flight's risk assessment, it's often useful to consider where to take off the drone from. Looking at the site on Google Maps or Google Earth ahead of time will give you an idea of where to take off your drone from. If feasible, you should also consider visiting the site ahead of time to perform a site survey. One option could be to take off from the roof of the building. With this approach, it's important to consider the impact on the drone's relative altitude. Most drones use a barometric sensor for altitude estimation and estimate their altitude relative to the takeoff location. So if you are planning to take off from the roof to inspect a facade, you notice your drone report negative altitudes during flight. I hope this list gives you a sense of some of the things to look at whilst planning facade inspections. Now let's have a look at the mission planning and help you understand how to capture high precision inspection data. If you have flown photogrammetry missions before, the mission planning should come to you naturally. Essentially, mission planning and automation for facade inspections is very similar to orthophoto missions but flipped in the vertical plane. Firstly, let's explore estimating the height of the building, which is a key concept. Performing an automated facade inspection begins by being able to accurately determine the height of the building. We recommend using the drone as a measurement tool and flying it to the top and the bottom of the building to, to capture the true height of the building as reported by the drone's barometer. We make this process actually super simple with altitude fetchers in our flight software, Hammer Missions. With altitude fetchers, you can fly your drone manually to the top of the building, press a single button in our flight app and record the height of the building. You can then repeat the same process to capture the bottom of the building. The second challenge in mission planning is to be able to determine the distance you should fly from to the distance to the building you should fly from to capture the images at the desired overlap. Obviously, the camera you're using also plays a role in this as every camera would have a different field of view. Once again, we've made this process super simple for you in Hammer Missions. 
Simply select the horizontal distance you want to keep from the building. Your desired overlap, we recommend 20% for inspections and 70% for photogrammetry applications and also your camera type and then Hammer will take care of the rest. It will calculate the most optimal positions for the drone to take photos during the flight. Once you've planned your mission, you can simulate your flight in Hammer to understand what would be the expected flight path on the field. One of the common challenges with these inspections is to make sure that the planned images are crystal clear and devoid of any motion blur or focus issues. Hammer can also automate this process for you. Simply toggle on the focus before picture switch and Hammer will focus on the drone's camera before every picture. I hope this tutorial has given you more insight into facade inspections using a drone. And if you'd like to learn more about facade inspections and other mission supporters in Hammer, please feel free to visit our website. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you really did, do feel free to share it with the community. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.